Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of B2B Wholesale Private Shop for Magento 2. In the previous video, we showed you the module configuration settings and in today's video tutorial, we'll be showing you the workflow at the admin's end and at the storefront as well. So uh, let's get in and let's see how the admin would be able to create the various uh, private groups and how the admin would be able to assign these private groups to the particular products, categories and customers. So uh, let me take you ahead and let me take you to the admin backend panel first. So uh, here we are in the admin backend panel and after the successful installation of this extension, the admin will find this private shop menu option in the side panel and tapping that up brings uh, two sub menu options. One is to manage the private groups and the other one is to send the notification mails. So uh, let me take you to the manage private group section and uh, after that I'll be showing you the send notification mail section as well. So uh, let me take you to the private group management section first. So under the private group section, the admin uh, or the store owner would be able to create uh, new private groups and can also view the created ones. And from the actions drop down section uh, here, the uh, store owner would be able to delete, disable or enable any of the created private groups. And uh, the admin can also uh, mail a particular private group edit or delete it from the uh, action column select uh, link that you can see here on the right hand side. So uh, to create a new group, the admin just needs to tap the new private group uh, button here and that brings up the section to uh, create a new group. So uh, the admin can start set the status of this particular group as enabled and can set up the group name as well and can hit the save group button to save this particular group and after the group has been saved you can see that the group would be created under the group name column here and you can see the status of this particular group as well so uh, from here you can also enable disable or delete a particular group for example let me disable this group for the time being so uh, the particular private group would be disabled so this has been disabled. So uh, that was about how to create a private group. So uh, accordingly, uh, the store owner would be able to create uh, the respective groups as per his need. And uh, that was much about creating a, a private group. So uh, now I'll be taking you further and I'll be showing you how the admin would be able to assign a particular private group to a product uh, or a category or a customer. So uh, let me take you to the uh, customer section first and let me show you how the admin uh, but before that uh, let me show you the, the email section that we have under the private shop that's the same notification email. So uh, here we are on that uh, uh, section here. So, so uh, this is the send email section and uh, under this section the admin can send uh, an email to a particular group of customers at a time and the admin needs to select uh, the group and then need to enter the subject and the email content within the body. The email will be added to the queue after clicking on the add in queue button that you will see up on the right hand top. The admin needs to run a command thereafter uh, so as to uh, process the queue. So uh, you can find the uh, find the particular command within the user guide of this uh, particular uh, product. So uh, after that, uh, so basically the admin just need to select a particular customer group, enter the uh, subject of the uh, of the mail, enter the uh, contents of the uh, mail, and thereafter hit the add in queue button but after that the admin also needs to run the command uh, so as to process this particular queue so each of the uh, mails that you created would be listed here under this section with uh, their respective queue ids queue name uh, number of free tries total uh, receivers and the date created also please note that if the admin runs the command and does not stop the command 
then whenever the admin adds email in the queue, the queue would be processed automatically. So if there are a number of uh, emails that you've created, those uh, emails would automatically start, uh, like they'll, uh, they'll get processed automatically and will be sent to the uh, selected groups for which you have created the emails. So uh, that was much about the email section under the uh, private shop and let me take you to the customer section and let me show you how they are be able to assign uh, the created groups to uh, the customers that are available within the uh, store there. So uh, let me take you to the customer section here and uh, the admin can assign a private group to uh, already uh, created ca customer or the admin can also create a new customer and add him to a particular group. For example, here we have uh, Marnie Grant or uh, he is one of the customers of our web store and uh, to assign a particular group to this customer the admin needs to edit this particular customer first by tapping the edit label under the action column here and that will bring up this section uh, to uh, edit the customer now here the admin needs to uh, navigate under the customer information block the uh, admin will navigate to the assigned private groups section and here uh, for the assigned group option the admin needs to tap the uh, drop down option here and the admin can uh, assign a particular uh, group that he has created or a number of groups can also be assigned at the same time to a particular customer for example we have assigned three groups to this particular customers to this person to this particular customer so whenever this customer logs into his uh, account he'll be able to see all the products or the categories uh, that are assigned to these particular groups so for now we can hit the save customer button so as to save this particular assignment of uh, groups to this particular customer so we have already saved that now after that uh, let me show you how uh, the uh, store will be able to assign uh, private groups to the products for that we need to navigate to the product section so i'll just open that up and uh, i'll also show you the categories uh, uh, category assignment as well so first we'll be going to the uh, product assignment so the admin can assign a private group to an already created product or uh, the admin can also add a new product and then assign a particular private group to the new product as well. So uh, for example, uh, here you can also see that we have column with the name private group. So whenever the admin comes to this particular page, that's the product section. Here the admin can see the particular private groups to which a particular uh, product has been assigned to whether it has been assigned to a single or, a mul or multiple private groups uh, as well so the admin can check that and to assign a group to a particular product the admin or the store owner needs to edit the product first and after that the uh, admin needs to enable the uh, private product option for the product so uh, so here on the uh, product page uh, you just need to navigate to this section uh, this area so here's the option uh, to make this uh, particular pro product as private so we need to enable it up so we have enabled this product and after that we'll just hit the save button so as to save this particular option for the product to make it as private and uh, after making the product as private we can go back to the uh, product products page uh, by hitting the uh, back button and from here we can navigate back to the particular product we can also uh, assign uh, private groups in bulk to uh, multiple products at the same time so for now i'll be uh, assigning the private product to the single product so i've selected this up and from the actions drop down i'll select the assign private groups and this section comes up and from here i can assign a single or maybe multiple private groups uh, to this particular product 
and I can hit the assign button thereafter. So this was how you can assign private groups to the uh, products and now uh, lastly let me take you to the category section and let me show you how you can assign uh, the uh, private groups to a particular category. So uh, I've just uh, opened up one of the uh, categories that's the women category here. And for this particular category what I need to do is I just need to navigate to this section that says assign private groups and here I can make this particular category as private first and after that I can assign singular multiple uh, private groups to this particular private category. So if the customer is within this uh, retail wholesale on the prime customer then the uh, then the customer will be able to see all the cat all the products that are within these uh, categories. And lastly, the admin just needs to hit the save button to uh, save this particular private group assignment for the categories. So uh, that was much about uh, how to uh, assign private groups to the products, categories, and customers. And uh, and uh, lastly, uh, what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you the workflow of, of the guest at the front end. So uh, for that, let me take you to the front end first. So uh, I'm at the front end right now. So whenever a guest arrives at your web shop and tries to uh, like uh, navigate to any of the categories, maybe or if he wants to add any of the products within the cart, he'll be redirected to this uh, sign up page within uh, with this message that the shop is private and you need to log in or register to with the uh, shop. So uh, the uh, guest needs to register first and after the guest has registered at the web store and after that when the uh, guest tries to log into the store the customer would be able to see all the products uh, that have been assigned to him or uh, the uh, customer would be able to view the product or the categories uh, that have been assigned to a particular private group within which the customer falls. So uh, let me take you in and uh, let me show you after uh, the guest has registered when the guest logs into the uh, account panel, the guest would be able to see all of the products that are private to him. So uh, the uh, customer can click here on the private group private product uh, many options to associate all the products that are private to this particular uh, customer and uh, you can also see the uh, label text that we had set, set up in the configuration settings and we had set the display position for the label on the top left hand corner so we are able to see that uh, particular label here so uh, let me give you uh, just here so we had set it the label as yes and the label position top left and the label title is as only for you so if we enable the label image and we save the configuration settings here and let me take you to the front end and let me show you how the product label would be visible at the product on the front end so uh, let me refresh this page for you So here you can see the uh, label that I have uh, added, the image label is visible and it says private, private, private. You can set up all the labels as per your own requirement there and accordingly you can assign the labels to the uh, products there. So, so uh, that was much about the B2B wholesale private shop for Magento 2 and uh, hope it helped you out and if you have any questions or queries regarding this extension then you, you can always get back to us at support at directwebpool.com or you may raise a ticket at uh, webcool.uvidas.com. Thanks for watching this video and uh, have a great day ahead.